I don't have a witty intro. This intro sucks. April 24, 1980, saw Nintendo release a little handheld electronic game called Ball, a relatively simple game played on a liquid crystal display. Ball was the first in the series of branded handheld electronic games called Game & Watch, which would comprise similar simplistic games such as this game and that game and don't forget about this game. Game & Watch was a thing before my time, but it's not to say I wasn't unfamiliar with them. As a kid, I had a Snoopy game that was pretty fun, and I recall playing that one Mario game where he was working at a bottle factory. And while the Game & Watch line eventually gave way to Nintendo's greater successes, the idea of LCD-based handheld electronic games was a concept that continued through the prime years of video games in various forms. But I'm getting off track here. 1995 saw Nintendo release Game Boy Gallery to European audiences, essentially a compilation comprising remakes of five classic Game & Watch games. And then a couple years later, in 1997, Nintendo will release today's subject matter, Game & Watch Gallery, for the original Game Boy. Game & Watch Gallery comprises recreations of four classic Game & Watch games, Manhole, Fire, Octopus, and Oil Panic. Each game in turn has two variants, there's Classic, which is the straight-up recreation of the original handheld, and then there's Modern, which updates the presentation with Game Boy quality graphics and sound, replaces the generic caricatures with Mario characters, and to a certain extent, enhances the gameplay somewhat. Let's take a quick look at each of these four games. Manhole Ensures safe passage of the various pedestrians by holding up the manhole to prevent said people from falling into the water below. Obviously, the more points you score, the faster and more frequent pedestrians you'll have to guide, and then thus the harder the game gets. The modern variant is a bit easier as you basically help Yoshi keep all the manholds held up while you have a bunch of characters passing by. Fairly simple game to grasp and functional enough. Next up is Fire, a game where you try to catch escapees from a burning building and dump them into the ambulance which is a pretty irresponsible way of saving victims, but whatever. The modern setup doesn't deviate from the formula too much, you just have more than one type of character to save, and their weight, for lack of a better term, affects their bounce pattern, requiring minor adjustments to be made in order to save them from the floor. It's probably my favorite of the four games, to be honest, and it's a lot of fun. Octopus Dive into the bottom of the sea and pillage the treasure below to bring back to your boat for bonus points, all the while avoiding the deadly tentacles of the eponymous octopus. You can pillage as much gold as you want before making your way back up, but in the modern version, the more treasure you pocket, the slower you'll move, making evading those tentacles a lot harder. So there's definitely that risk versus reward aspect that's heavily emphasized here. And finally, we have Oil Panic the sole dual screen entry in this compilation where you have to catch dripping oil before it hits the burning floor and then empty your bucket to your partner's pail without hitting the innocent bystanders below. The game ends if you either fail to catch oil three times or if you dump oil onto innocent bystanders three times. Perhaps the most involved game as you not only have to keep track of what's going on on the top side of the screen but also be careful not to empty the pail on the wrong side. The water version gives you two buckets to catch oil with, but all that means is two more buckets you have to empty, and that oil eventually does start to drip faster and in greater frequency. Like the original handhelds these are based on, each of the four games have two game modes that are essentially difficulty settings, with game A being the easier game, and game B being the harder game. Playing these games and getting high scores will unlock items in the gallery mode, which will show off a brief animation and description of other Game & Watch games, none of which are playable here, but would serve as fodder for later installments in the Game & Watch gallery series. Now I can't speak for how accurate or true the form the gameplay for these featured titles are in comparison to the original Game & Watch units they're based on since I've never played them, but I like to think Nintendo did its best to recreate the gameplay and mechanics of each game as closely as possible. And these are four very basic, easy to understand, difficult to master, quick little games that keep going until you either lose or you get bored. Controls are simple and responsive, each game having a diagram of either your Game Boy or Super Nintendo controller if played on the Super Game Boy, showing you which buttons do what in each game. In terms of the overall presentation, well, it depends on the game and the mode you play. 
The classic variants do a fair job of recreating the original graphics and layout, and playing on the Super Game Boy provides you with some colors and even the appropriate throwback borders for the various games, making for a rather nice touch. The modern iterations, which replaces the plain-looking characters with Super Mario ones, look decent enough for what they are, but they're nothing really special. Sound effects on the classic side are old-school beeps and bleeps, while modern has a jaunty yet forgettable jingle for each game and less old-school beeps and bleeps. Overall, Game & Watch Gallery is a solid compilation that recreates four of the old Game & Watch handhelds and manages enough accuracy to be close to the source material while also providing enhanced versions for those who feel the primitive preset visuals of the classic model seems lacking. Either way, you've got four fun little games on display here and a nice convenient way of exploring a segment of Nintendo history without spending an arm or leg on original hardware. Good times, fun stuff.